Hello, hello, and welcome back to Burrows. Uh, we are here at this decision in the uh, in the golden place. I legitimately don't know if this is how the the route split now, or if we'll still get the card thing later. But I'm thinking that I will do all of these <laughs> uh, just to show off all that the new prologue has to offer. Uh, I hope that's. I hope that's okay. I think I'll just go down the, the list order, and we'll just keep reloading this save until we do all of them, right? So we'll, just, we'll go to Marky Boy. He did seem pretty calm. It might be a good idea to get his perspective on things. Also, it doesn't hurt that he's a looker. I was uh, always a sucker for an older guy. Okay, now's not the time, Gray. I heard, uh... I heard to where I saw him last. I had to where I saw him last. <laughs> Within seconds, I can already see his fluffy ears coming into view behind the hedges. It doesn't it doesn't uh, really register at first, but he was tall, like tall tall with those long leggies. Uh easily more than 6 feet. It must be those legs. I'd be uh, uh it'd be sh I'd be shocked if he had if he could uh fit pants on the correct length at department stores. Uh, I wave at his attention, but he he's facing away from me, gazing at the sky as he leans against a neatly trimmed hedge. Uh, hey! Mark, right? He jumps, a fumbling like something is on it, like something in his hands, oh, while cursing under his breath. Oh, uh, sorry. No, no! You're fine, Gray! I tilt my head and see a little cigarette perched between his fingers. I guess the stress started getting to me. I can't blame you. Uh, can I join you? Not smoking, that's, um... Uh... He chuckles and pats the spot next to him. Uh, nodding, I stumble over to his side. The branches poke into my back, but I maintain my cool. So... Before you got here, uh, who were you? What did you do? Uh, where did you live? Whoa, whoa! Uh, slow down, Vela. Sorry, I just... He sighs and takes a deep drag, a smoke trailing out of his nose as he gently exhales. A brief flash of an, annoy of an annoyed expression shifts back into his usual friendly demeanor. I guess formalities are sort of pointless, huh? Especially if what you say was true. I assume he means my theory that this is the afterlife. Well, before I got here, I felt like I was dead, or dying at least. I was expecting more fire and brimstone, if you catch my ver bleh, my drift. Was that saying too much? Uh, he thinks for a moment before nodding. I get you. There's no need to explain yourself to some random stranger. For some reason. But for some reason, I don't feel like a total stranger. Oh. But for some reason, you don't feel like a total stranger. Huh? Maybe it's, uh, it's got something to do with the atmosphere of this place. Uh, but I get the, I get the sense that we've already met before. Or perhaps that we were destined to meet. Uh, my cheeks flush. You can't just say that to a guy without warning. Mark. Sorry, was that too presumptuous? A bit, but... Uh, there what there has to be some connection here and I'm not going to deny feeling some sort of pull towards you uh, poor, uh, pull towards you lot I feel like I can trust you guys he puts an arm around my shoulder and puts me towards him I feel like he, I feel him breathing slowly in and out in and out my head rests on his chin and I close my eyes there's no heartbeat it's all right, Gray. And nothing matters anymore. Maybe it never did. All I can do is mumble incoherently. If we all end up here, no matter how we lived, and who hurt, I feel uh, his chest tighten. Maybe someone's watching out for guys like us after all. His body temperature, uh, his body trembles, uh, but he still uh, holds me gently. I feel all my walls come down. I wasn't a good person. Me either. I don't deserve this. I think you do. 
You wouldn't if you got to know that, to really know me. That's never stopped me from trying. Damn it. He's relentless. You're really warm. Uncomfy. I shake my head. It's still pressed into his chest. Good. Take all the time you need, sugar. I, I don't mind him calling me that. We stay quiet for a while. It's like Hiro said, time has no meaning here. An instructive thought suddenly pokes through my mental fog. Hey, are you actually uh, looking for a way out? I guess not. Is that a problem? Not for me to say. I like it here. It's quiet. Plus, you're here. My heart skips a beat. I try not to poke, uh, to choke on my next words. You, you don't want to come back? He groans, pulling away from me. Mark? My life. It wasn't much to write home about. The Big Apple ain't like it seems in the movies. Oh. I shouldn't be asking about this. It's none of my business. Never mind, it's not important. Hey, uh, however, th however things were before, we're here now. It's in the past. He breaks into a coughing fit that morphs into a sickly laugh. Gray, uh, let me tell you something. Uh, the past has a way of following you. And if you all, if you're anything like me, you know just how deep it can sink into te its teeth. Anyway, I think you should head back to the group. I need some time alone to think. Sure. No, I'm not mad at you. You really cheered me up. Did I? Promise, now go on, get. He swats my tail playfully and I wave him off with a smile. He really has a uh, warmth to him that I can't describe. It makes me want to open up. Spill my secrets, but not yet. Oh, okay, so we can just do it all? All right. All right, let's talk to Gabriel. Uh, Gabriel seems like the friendliest of the bunch. And not to mention, he's the shortest walk away. Uh, hey, Gabriel. Hello. Whatever he's listening to, he's playing too loud for him to hear me. Just what are they plugged into, anyway? All right, uh, he forced my hand. I lay down next to him, uh, waiting for him to take notice. My tail gently brushes against his, and he stretches out, smiling gently at me. Oh, hey, dude. Are uh, you taking a siesta, too? You could say that. I just I just want to spend some time with you. Really? Why? Do I need a reason? You're adorable. Well, what do you make of this place? It feels nice to be here. Is that okay? He answers as if I threw a quiz at him. Relax. Sorry. But I don't know. Doesn't it feel sorta of natural? Yeah, but why us? And why here? Who cares? Oops, I mean, I meant like uh, nothing bad to happen to us, so uh, let's just roll with it. There's no way you can't, you don't find this a little too suspicious, Gabriel. No, just call me Gabe. You sound like my mom. I roll my eyes and chuckle. He acts like a kid, despite being built like a brick house. All right, Gabe. I'll uh, try to see it. I'll try to see it the way you do. Tja, uh, life should be all about a maximum chillage, you know. Right. I knew it. I knew. I knew that. Uh, he giggles and nudges me into the bleh, in the side with a finned elbow. I couldn't help but to get caught up in the moment and join him. Soon, we're both on cack cackling. We're both full-on cackling. Okay. God, this is all so stupid. Gabe knows, of course he does. That's why he's not taking it seriously. We never had a choice in any of this. <laughs> Thanks, Gabe. Mm -hmm. For what, dude? Making me laugh. I needed that. Shucks. You're so good. I'm used to people laughing around me. Well, at me, but you know how it is. Hey, no, I, I'd never. 
No, I know, dude. No, I believe you. Not everyone's as nice as you. Hell, look at that panther dude. Oh, I'm looking. <laughs> Did he? He looks away. I already missed that smile. He was so aggressive at first. He went for me because I was the biggest. He holds his bicep, squeezing down on the bruise. They always go for the biggest guy first. Hey, hey stop that. I pull his hand away and sit up. That's no excuse. He needs to apologize. He chuckles morbidly to himself. It doesn't hurt. I don't think we feel pain here. I'm kind of grateful he hit me so we could figure that out. Or maybe he already knew. Gabe. I'm fine. Honest. I want to give him a hug. I want to give him the biggest hug. Anyway. If you actually want, actually, uh, find a way out. Uh, sitting here with me ain't hell gonna help. Uh, go see what the other dudes are up to. Alright, you stay put, okay? And stay away from that panther. Aye, aye, Captain. Okay. Hero's got the uh, best grasp of the situation, and it sounds like he's here, he's been here the longest. If anyone, if there is anyone I should talk to, it's him. I jog over to where he said he'd be. After a few minutes, I come to a line of trees that stretch along the horizon. Weird, I don't see him. Did he enter the woods? A uh, hero? A uh, hero? Shit, should I get the others? Here, yes? The little head pokes out from beneath the tree trunk, his ears covered in twigs and leaves. Sorry, I was exploring a curious phenomenon and got distracted. Also, you don't have to yell. I can hear better than most. Right, sorry. So, what's the phenomenon? Observe. He disappears behind the trees again. A few minutes pass without a word. What am I supposed to be observing exactly? Suddenly, I hear someone uh, coming up from behind me, and I'll flip around to see Hero's ears perking out of the grass. How the hell? He reaches... He, wait, he reaches me and flips up his goggles out of breath. Y yes uh, precisely When you walk through here, uh, you appear on the eastern end of the, uh, of the field. There's an identical group of trees there. I, I don't really understand. So you're saying there's nothing beyond this point? No, not nothing, Ray. It loops uh, like a zeotrope. Uh, how is that? And none of this is possible, Gray. That much is evident by now. I sort of feel like I'm being scolded, but he's right. Does that mean we're trapped? Not necessarily. Just that this isn't the exit. I didn't mean to worry you. Uh, apologies. You're fine, kid. I uh, I'm not a child. Oh, I, uh, I didn't mean it like that. It's fine, I expected as much. But I'll have you know that I'm a, I'm a very average height, considering both my species and nationality. Yes, about that. You're, um, very fluent in English for a Chinaman. Where, where did you learn? I'm not Chinese. Oh. Uh, do I want to try to pronounce this? I don't even know. <sighs> it feels good to have been born and partially raised in Japan and not know Japanese. Ah, it feels good. Nihonjin desu. I'm from Japan. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. All my father's crude comments about Orientals uh, looking the same flood my mind, and I turn red with shame. Tis all right. I'm well used to it. I do work with Westerners all the time. However, I will admit that I never learned English. So then, he nods. Indeed, this is likely another effect of this place. This place? 
Uh, we really need to come up with a proper name. Oh, well, I'm grateful we can communicate. Maybe this place isn't so bad after all. Hmm. Oh, while I detect no malice from this place, it's too soon to say whether or not a benevolent force has uh, put us here. And for what purpose? That's what bothers me. Could this have been Virgil's doing? Hmm. You know something. Shit. It's still a little too soon to talk about that. I'll uh, explain it when when we're all together again. So you said you worked with Westerners. Oh, where would that be? His eyes brighten a bit, and I can tell he's excited to talk about his work. Well, it's still a bit unofficial, but I've been drafted to work with a highly influential German company as a chief engineer. Wow, so that's why you have those goggles. It seems I wasn't transported with my usual array of tools, but no matter, a good engineer can make a tool out of nothing. I'm glad we have you on our side. Uh, we might need to make uh, some... I mean, make some lodgings if we get tired. He cocks his head and looks at me, confused. Didn't you, uh, didn't you, uh, check out the ma- Uh, didn't you check out the, uh, manor? B well, it's a long story. <laughs> He's clearly not buying it. Gray, we have to work as a team if we want to make it out of here. Sharing any information you have is vital. Hero, I swear that I'm not keeping anything from you. It's that the house has bad energy. Yeah, that sounds pretty dumb. I may be a man of science, but the land I hail from considers those feelings a matter of great importance. Really? Like, a uh, Feng Shui? Yes. That's Chinese. I'm trying. Anyway... If you really think we should avoid going into that house, then we'll save it for late, for last. Thanks. Another breeze rolls by and carries a wave of uh, dander and pollen with it, or washes over us too. It's so quiet, the rustling leaves around us are uh, as loud as cymbals. Hero's ears twitch, uh, likely being overstimulated. I feel bad for shouting earlier. An unexpected scent wafts so wasp past me, carrying on the air. Uh, it smells, um, decadent. Intoxicating. Familiar? Hiro looks away, holding an arm. Hiro, you... Uh, before... Maybe me and these false trees aren't so different. In natural, uh, nature doesn't always get right. Sometimes it even lies. He shakes the uh, bad feelings off and smiles at me confidently, those eyes full of fire again. But that's why we have science. If we weren't given a perfect world to live in, we'll just have to build one. He's right. All we can do is march forward and hope the, the world can change. I feel better after talking with you, Hero. Thanks. The feeling's mutual. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some more exploring to do. I nod and head back over to the clearing. Hero can definitely handle himself, that much is certain. We'll be safer with him around, and his determination is contagious. Still, what was that feeling just now? Not, no, that's impossible. I'm just being silly. We will talk to Ken-chan! Well, technically he's part of the group, too. He probably wants to be left alone, but I can't overlook him hurting Gabriel beside, uh, Gabriel. Besides, he's been the most tight-lipped so far. I walk over to where he stormed off. It looks identical to the, uh, to the western side here, but there's only one way to find out. I have to walk by the old house. I can't even bear to look at it. All the excitement is gone after getting that weird sensation from the, uh, from the uh, front door. Regardless... Noisy. I turn around to see him... Uh, waiting behind the building, uh, leaning against the wall. Y you You came looking for me, right. Did the group decide to throw me overboard or something? N no. Why are you hiding back here? Hiding? Please. What is there to hide from? 
This place is empty. Uh, we're the only real people here. What? But... The birds. It's just noise. Have you actually seen a bird since we've been here? I guess not. Something put us here, and I'm watching to see how... And it's watching to see how we react. What makes you so sure? Fuck it. Name's Ken. Uh, heard him call you gray earlier. Charmed. Ah, uh, with that smile, yes. Uh, anyway, I refuse to play it into play into its hands. And not part not participating is the only way to get a reaction out of it. But, uh, right. But uh, shouldn't you tell the rest of the group that? Group. I never agreed to be tied up with you lot. The only one who seems worth their salt was the fox, and he lost points once he stopped trying to kill us. Kill? Little hero killing us all? I can't help it. The mental image sends me into a... a laughing fit. Hey, I'm serious! He had, uh, sh he had, uh, he had sharpened a stick and everything. R right Stop fucking laughing! I, I can't! I guess it was kind of funny looking. I hear his deep growl soften into a chuckle. While he smiles, he doesn't look half bad. Alright, uh, maybe this whole thing is pointless. If that's the case, uh, let's make the most of this time. There's no point in moping around. I think we're all waste. Uh, we've all wasted too much of our lives doing this. Hmm, I can't argue with that. Come here. He sits down, gesturing for me to sit and uh, to fill the spot next to him. I, I hesitate. He still hurt Gabriel. I won't bite. The shark just got too close while I was still freaking out. So you were scared. He rolled his eyes and shoots me a, a slip of a smile. A toothy fang pokes past his lips. You gonna sit or not, Poss? Yeah, yeah. I plop down next to him and stare at the sky. He always seems to be looking at something I can't quite see. He surprises me by leaning onto me. You, you tired? Not really. I don't think we get tired here. The fox probably figured that out already. His name's Hero. Whatever. He leans on me a little harder. It's not like I wanted to get to know any of you bozos. Would you... S oh, uh, wait, what? Why would that be so bad? I hear sniffling. There's no way. Because you're all gonna disappear soon. What? We just got here. And I have a feeling. A terrible feeling. They scare me. The others. They can't see the place the way I do. They think it's paradise. I guess I fall into that camp, but remembering what happened with Virgil has kept me on edge. This place's charm never really, never fully worked on me. I don't completely trust this place either. We have to find a way out of here. There is no way out. Don't you get it? You're also. We're not going to let anything happen to us without a fight. Right. He lays a head on my shoulder. You're not so bad like this, you know? I know. Even though this is the end. Or whatever. It ain't easy to let my guard down. But, you're being awfully nice to me. Thanks, Gray. I rub his shoulder and smile. A hot tear rolls down my cheek and he leans in, uh, leans in to uh, lap it away with a sandpapery tongue. Do you mind if we stay like this for a while? Not at all. The clouds roll by for what feels like hours. There is a constant hum in the air that makes it impossible to think too hard about anything. For the first time in a long while, I'm just happy to be alive. Or whatever the stage of existence is considered. Ken's curled up in my arms, uh, <laughs> uh, gently uh, sobbing while I stroke his head. There's probably no, no other... Another word where he'd let someone do this for him. I guess that's uh, there's a sort of peace that comes with accepting this. Ken's been fighting that feeling ever since he got here, and it finally wore him down. 
After a while, he jilts up, uh, brushing the dirt off his jeans. Okay. I think I've got that on my system. Ready to come back with me to talk to the others? Ken? Give me a few minutes. I promise I'll be nice. And apologize to Gabriel. He rolls his eyes and smiles at me. And apologize to Gabriel. The kid seems nice enough. With a nod and a wave goodbye, I head back to the clearing. What a complex guy. I can't really get a read on him, but it just seems like he's coming to terms with the situation. There's no guidebook on how to act during times like this. I can't judge him too much. Once upon a time, I probably would have reacted just like he did. Well, that's everyone. All I can do now is wait for them to come back so we can share what we what we found. I didn't exactly look, out, look around much, but I doubt there's anything worth exploring if the environment loops like Hiro said. Gabriel waves at me and I sit down with him for a while. We make small talk. He's a uh, handsy guy when he likes someone. I don't think I've ever gotten this many head pats before. Uh, maybe there is some merit to staying like, staying here like Mark wanted. That thought's interrupted by the other three coming back, led by Hero. Hey guys, any luck? The Fennec shakes his head, looking dejected. Oh, from the sounds, we're pretty much boxed in on all sides. I told you. Moving horizontally keeps us uh, going in circles, and traveling vertically only gives us a small area to explore. Well, that's bogus. Not like you helped. You didn't do much either, pal. You two actually talked. Don't get used to it. I agree to try to get along with y'all for the time being. Only because he asked me to. Whatever. If it means making you s if you'll stop being a dick, I'm all for it. I'm sorry, okay? Jeez. Oh, uh, great. You shouldn't have uh, talked to him without telling one of us. It's fine, Mark. Uh, gathering data on our surroundings was the priority. A little risk is expected. I suppose. We can't get hurt. We don't get hungry, and we don't get tired. According to Hirosama. <laughs> but, uh, yes. But we should still be cautious. We don't know the full scope of the... Can I, can I say something? Everyone stopped squabbling and quieted down. I look, I took time to talk to everyone, and I think I have the clearest picture. And now that I can trust all of you, I can tell you where we are. You knew this whole time? Dude! I'm sure he has his reasons. I was scared, and I had just been betrayed by someone who seemed friendly. I'm sorry for not being forward before, honest. I trust him. Me too. And gentlemen, come on, don't be such a stick in the mud. Well, I don't think he had anything to gain by keeping it from us. Go on then, Gray. Uh, let's all introduce ourselves again. I want to start uh, this off on the right. No oh, excuse me, on the right foot. Uh, we all nod except Ken, who groans, and Mark walks up to me first, hand uh, his hand stretched out. The name's Mark. I was in the middle of doing some holiday shopping in Midtown, and, um, that's all as, that's as far as I can recall before waking up here. Who's next? A hero brushes his big bushy tail against Mark's leg and clears his throat. My name is, uh, Yasahiro, and I was contracted by a German manufacturer to do some engineering work on a top secret project. Last I remember, I was checking the engine room when I fell asleep. And then I woke up in some woods to the south of here and I tried to make camp. I believe you found me when I was in a less than uh, desirable state. I thought I was a giant, uh, a carpin. I thought he, wait, he thought I was a giant carpin, tried to eat me. I said sorry. Anyway, you go next. Yeah, no, okay. Uh, he sucks in his gut and takes a deep breath. His belly jiggles as he uh, lets it out, 
uh, looking at me with a bright smile. I am Gabriel Alvarez. Uh, nice to meet you. I was finishing up some swimming lessons at school when everything went dark. I woke up next to a river near where Hero was staying. It seems like I was the only one who encountered Virgil. My story is going to sound even crazier in comparison. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> another moment of silence passes before Hero jabs the panther in the rib, uh, gesturing towards me with an annoyed glance. Name's Ken. I like motorcycles, chicks, and beer. That's it. Not gonna tell us how you got here. Can't remember. Sorry, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, I, this is like one of my favorite expressions for him. It's, it's cute. You said you'd be nice. I am. And with that answer, that leaves me. I take time clearing my throat so I can think about how I want to word this. My, my name's Gray. I'm 25. I'm from New Orleans, and this used to be my house. I gesture towards the ominous building looming behind us. They collectively scan the building top to bottom, ending on me with puzzled looks. Gabriel scratches his chin. His eyes dart back and forth between me and the manor. So, this place used to be your property? My parents, but yes. I played in this field as a kid, with my friends. Mark takes a final drag of his current cigarette before flicking it onto a dirt, a patch of dirt. Looks like you found something, uh, uh, sound yourself doing it again. Just as an adult this time. I glance over at Ken, who resorts to, um, plucking blades of grass one by one. Yo, I do the same shit. I ain't your friend. Nah, you are. He sucks his t <laughs> he sucks his uh, teeth as he uh, pulls out a huge chunk of grass, a block of earth still attached to its roots. Fine, maybe I am. Why are we here? I swear, if I knew, I'd tell you guys. It's why I didn't bother bringing it up at first. God, that sounds so fishy. Makes sense. Uh, that would have been cautious at first. Still, it's awfully convenient. It's a little weird. Hey now. I don't like it. I don't like any of this. He pushes past the others and looms over me. I fall back, his tense stare boring into my skull. You knew this whole time. Down, boy. Hero moves around him and crawls over to me, looking deep into my eyes. His little button nose only inches away from mine. I can feel his, uh, feel the breath on my face. Feel his breath on my face. Uh, being this close, I noticed, yeah, I noticed that pleasant smell, smell again. On top of that, his fur seemed clean and earthy, and under that, the smell of rubbing alcohol and oil. I, I don't think he's lying about his intentions. He stands up, brushing dirt and grass off his trousers, extending a hand to help me up. Thank you, Yashihiro. He nods with a confident smile. And even if he was, there's not much to gain here. It's the four of us against him. That's true. Uh, true, though. I think I can take you guys. Like, in a fight, or...? Yes. Anyway, that's not all. Yeah, go on, dude. After listening to all of your stories, it seems like my experience was unique. I take a second to gather myself and explain my encounter with Virgil in the bar and my apparent death. It takes a few tries with Hero asking for clarification on a few things. I swear up and down I wasn't drugged, and I promise to give him a, a urine sample once he- <laughs> No! No! We can't bring up piss. No. <laughs> Great. Stop. Uh, once, uh... A sample once he uh, finds a lab. That certainly is a hard sell. Yeah, I can see why he uh, didn't lead that way. Don't blame me. Don't blame me for believing me. I mean, don't blame you for not. Gonna try this for like a tenth time. We'll get there, guys. We'll get there. Don't blame me for not. Don't blame you for not believing me. But none of this makes sense anyway. True. It's not an easy spot to be, uh, to put a scientist. 
The little flux collapses in a heap on the ground, ascending dandelions, plopping pop pods, flying everywhere. Even we don't get tired, even though we don't get tired here, we should rest our minds. Mark nods and lies down on the grass, resting his head next to Hero's outstretched legs. And, at the end of the day, uh, no matter how confused all of this is, we have to admit, it's pretty nice here, ain't it? I take everyone's soft silence as confirmation and lay down next to Mark. It's nicer with you all here. I'd have gone mad if I was alone. Never again. I won't repeat that mistake if this really is a second chance. The dry grass that always uh, tickled and prickled my nose as a kid suddenly feels softer than any bed I've ever laid in. You guys looking pretty cozy. Mind if I join in? Of course not. Uh, come on, Grumpy. You too. Fine. For Grey. One by one, they plop down next to me, and soon we're lying in a circle, staring up at the sky. <laughs> oh, Hero looks so twinky in this image. And then he's like this almost bara small boy, like, <laughs> in the portrait. It's a little silly, but it is funny. We lay for what feels like hours, enjoying enjoy minutes. Every minute feels surreal, as if we were a distant friends who had returned after an, an eternity of drifting. It's like Mark said, it's impossible to deny the good feelings this place gives me. Still, uh, I'm still calling it that. I'd rather not uh, refer to this as Oakfield, even, in, even uh, given its history. Well, it's not creative, but... Hey, guys. What's up, dude? I thought of a name. For this place, I mean. In do tell. How about the Golden Place? Ken snorts, turning away from me. What? <laughs> it kind of sounds like a Chinese restaurant. It's not bad. Oh, I like it. Golden Place it is. You're all nerds. He brushes a hand against mine, and I give him a gentle squeeze. I'm starting to get the—I'm starting to get used to this shark, and I can tell he's warming up to everyone else. Snark, not shark. Whoops. 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 Uh, suddenly, a stray memory floats front and center in my mind, as something I might have never remembered if not for the this rush of nostalgia. I think I've been here before. I know you told us earlier. No, I mean, to the Golden Place. So, not the vision, not the version in the real world. Putting it that way sounds so bizarre. When I was a kid, I was part of a, a camping troop. We'd go on hikes in the woods and stuff all the time. It wasn't anything much, uh, wait, it wasn't anything out of the ordinary. Go on. One day, my group got separated from the from the grown-ups. I couldn't remember why. I was chasing something, an animal maybe. Anyway, I ended up leading my leading my troop into this massive wall of tangled plants and wild berries. It was so tangled up and down that I it was wait, it was so straight up and down that I thought it was growing up a, growing over a fence, but my hand went straight through it. My friend Sam lost his balance and tumbled through to the other side, and we chased after him falling through a canopy one by one. On the other- on the other side? This... But it wasn't the same area. It was more like a farm. There was a single tree that we all decided to lay under. Like we're doing now. I guess. The same feelings of happiness hit us at all at once, and we'd lost track of time. Eventually, a council called us back from the other side, and we found our way back to the main trail. Did you ever find that spot again? No. And none of the other campers remembered going there. Honestly, I could have been a... It could have been a dream, or some over-embellished memories. You were a kid. I nod. I believe it. Yeah. 
kids been uh kids are better at finding things than adults. That sounds oddly familiar. Oh, I had a moment like that too. Really? Yeah, I just can't remember it right now. Gabe. I'm serious. Well, at the very least, you remember to feel uh, the feeling of that moment. Yes, it must have left quite an impact on you. What's the word for it? Deja vu. Everyone pauses for a moment before nodding in agreement. That's what this whole experience has felt like since the beginning. Like I was walking in on my own footsteps, only without the memories to guide me. It's like looking at a map with a giant X at the end, but no dotted lines follow. Whatever, whatever is causing this uh, wants me to feel lost. I feel dejected, but instead I'm happy. I should feel dejected, okay. Mark, Gabe, Ken, Hero? They make me feel safe. The golden light above me intensifies, and a feeling of pure sincerity overtakes me. A, I feel tears starting to swell well up again and try to brush them away before anyone else notices. I glance over at the others and feel a wave of relief wash over me. Everyone's uh, glossy-eyed and holding back tears of their own. Uh, Gabriel cracks first and bursts into a full sob, uh, starting a chain reaction. One by one, we start bawling, bawling and holding on to one another as if they might float away without adding, without uh, added weight. Ken manages to contain his episode to a, to mere sniffles, uh, interrupted by the occasional stray hiccup. He insists it must be hay fever, but at this point we can all read him like a book. I can't, I didn't know crying could feel so cathartic. I've been yelled at by my peers for crying my whole life. The intensity starts to die down and we ride out this dip in energy, comfort, comforting each other with gentle touches. After a few minutes of silence, I speak up. My voice is hoarse from this whole ordeal, but I force it out. I wish the wind rustles my clothes as everyone shifts positions to hear me, to hear me better. We could stay like this forever. Yeah, it really ain't so bad. No need for food. Free from our uh, possessions, our past. I suppose uh, there's peace in that, yes. It's okay to let go, hero. Then, it's finally over, is it? Everyone nods and hero starts wiping his eyes again. It's over. Thank God. I hear Gabriel start to choke up next to me. We're not supposed to feel pain anymore, but why do I still feel so sad? He grits his teeth and holds his face between his fingers, screaming into the void. G Gabe, please calm down. He's right. Mark? Damn it, what a cruel fate. Even here, I can't escape his stare. Before I can even register his words, I see Hero uh, doubled over, clutching his stomach. Hero, what's wrong? Uh, he's uh, tearing at his shirt. A dark um, a blood starts to soak through the bandages underneath. How could I possibly feel satisfied being stuck like this forever? I don't know what's happening anymore. I need to... Great! I feel Ken's arms brush against mine, and before I can turn away, uh, turn all the way around, it's too late. I can see through his body. The house uh, stares defiantly, defiantly at me through his transparent torso. I shoot up and look at everyone and see them start to fade away. What's going on? Someone, help! There's nobody else here, idiot. I try to, re to reach out to them, but something holds me in place. Something's standing on the porch of the manor, bathed in a shadow. It's a limbs. It extends a limb and turns the knob. N no! It holds on, wait, the hold on me is released, and I spring towards Mark, reaching out to grab his shoulder. He looks at me with the fear of God in his eyes as he, uh, as my hand passes through him. I pull it back in horror as he fades away. My hand is wet with condensation, as if it's touched a cloud of fog. 
The final outline of the others around me fade away, leaving only indents in the grass where they once sat. And now, all that remains is the sound of a pathetic, whimpering fool. I'm alone. Again. They look so terrified. Why, damn it? Why? Why would you give me hope? Because you begged for it. That's right. I wasn't foolish enough to believe in heaven until now. But for a brief moment, I was willing to believe in something, anything, if it meant we could stay together like this. I hunch over, sobbing into my arms, not caring about the mud soiling my sleeves or the snot running down my whiskers. I stay like that for more hours than I could count, refusing to look at the spot where they once lay. The light was beginning to dim uh, through the cracks between my crossed arms. The warm air was replaced by a cool, wet mist. This was how I remembered it. This is reality. My jaws, uh, my jaw arcs. My eyes sting. My pants uh, pinch my waist uncomfortably. I can't stay here. Wherever this is. The golden place home. Hell. None of that matters anymore. I reluctantly sit up and wipe off my mess of a snout, uh, using the last clean sense section of my sleeve. It's then that I notice something glimmering in the grass ahead. I inch closer to see tiny rectangles laying in front of me. They're cards. Oh, okay. So that's, uh, Heroes 1 looks neat. Okay. Oh, and there's gears in the background. That's cute. That's cute. You have the gears, the tsunami. Uh, I I think Ken's is probably the most aesthetic to me. Shut up, just because he's my favorite. Does, that doesn't mean anything. Uh, I do like how it's uh, it's less busy, I think, is why I like it. I, I don't get lost looking at it. Uh, like marks and heroes where it kind of takes me a second to register it. I can kind of like I get everything in the in Ken's All-in-one look no double takes needed uh, Gabriel's is cute though. I, I'm not big on the vaporwave aesthetic, but uh, you know, it looks good hmm. I hope they sell these at some point like if I can get like acrylic versions of these and I can set them up on my desk I'd love that or I can get uh, <laughs> I can get these as field centers for Yu-Gi-Oh! you know what I mean? <laughs> I pick each one up and turn them over examining the in wait intricate artwork they're pictures of Ga uh, Mark, Gabriel, Ken and Yasuhiro uh, suddenly, I feel the same warmth in my pocket. Oh, okay, let's... Ah, okay, so we can... We can now pick... We will be doing heroes. But I will end the part here. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the reworked prologue for the game, or intro, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think it's nice. It, it gives you a lot more time to actually get to know these four. Which is nice. I guess that wasn't like a, a priority at first, since we only could choose Mark in that first build. But this was nice. I'm glad they revamped all of this. Uh, so again, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you around, hopefully.